plus carries again today. Just kind of how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm pretty good, you know. Can't wait to go home and lay down a little bit. Ray John, you all kind of lost some games in some bizarre fashion the past couple of years. As those things kind of keep happening, how do you not feel just really unlucky or almost cursed at the way some of these games are ending down the stretch? Mm. I think you got to kind of move past it. You got to believe in your coaches. You got to, uh, you know, you got to kind of put your head down and just let it go. And, uh, you know, try not to dwell in the past, you know. Take a peek back there and kind of remind you of things you don't want to do, but I think the biggest thing is don't dwell on it. And, you know, kind of just stand on them coaches. When did you learn that, I guess, Marlon wasn't going to be able to play today? And did that kind of do anything different for you mentally, thinking, okay, this is going to be another 20 or 30 carry game here? Uh, I'd probably say I learned Friday. Um, honestly, from, from watching all the guys practice and practicing with them, you know, I felt it was going to be, you know, some split time because I had total confidence in Tom, Alden, Summerhill. So, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, positive that it was going to be all me, but, you know, that's what it takes. I think just open up a little bit in the second half because I know obviously you're kind of having to grind out a lot of three and four yarders there in the first half and then kind of finally broke loose a little bit there after the half of the play. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of how it played out and that's kind of how our coach tells us it is. You got to pound, pound, pound and one of them going to break for you. Rajon, I know the end result is not what you guys wanted, but with the crowd being into it and the way the offense started to really kind of find its footing in the second half, but was, was it fun out there when y'all were really got, when got that rhythm going? It was amazing. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen the crowd get that animated. When that song, uh, Ain't Worry About Nothing, come on, that, I was just like, wow. It, it was amazing. It was electric in there. and uh, Man, they played a giant part. And, and helping us, you know, build momentum and, and kind of swing things our way. What do you think? What do you think Justin Morley proved today? Uh, kind of what we already knew that you know he can throw the ball. He's confident. He got the intelligence to know where and where the things need to be at. And uh, you know, I think he kind of settled in today. If it looked like it was about to it looked like he kind of loosened up a little bit. I mean, he was making some throws in the second half that I don't know if he would have tried earlier in the year. Yeah, definitely. And uh. I'm happy for him, and I'm happy that we got to spread the ball around, and you know they gave him a little more rope to, to just sling it. Anything you said, Dave? I know that as a running back, I mean you've had a couple, you know, balls that you've popped up over the years. I mean, anything you can say to him in that spot? I mean, it's just kind of a nightmare scenario to be in for a player, I guess. Oh yeah, I told him honestly in the shower. Uh, I said it could have happened to anybody. I, I can't imagine any other player not diving and, and trying to stretch for that for that pylon, and. At the end of the day, man, Pig played a great game. Is he tough enough? Do you think? What do you know about him to kind of bounce back from that? Obviously, you know, you've been in kind of similar situations. Maybe not to that level, but do you think Pig's the kind of guy that can bounce back from that? Oh yeah, he'll he'll be fine. He'll be fine with 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 the type of support that you know we have around him and the coaches. Man, he'll be fine. That wasn't his fault. He was just trying to make a play. Go on, Rajon. What do you think allowed Justin to kind of loosen up, settle in? I think once you start to complete a couple passes, you know, we hold up in protection a little bit more, giving a little extra time. I think he starts to, you know, build confidence to know, okay, they got my back. I can kind of set my feet and, you know, kind of get it ripping. Do you think you guys gain more confidence in him? Do the offense kind of need that? Yeah, de definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, we always believed in him, but, you know, we're glad that it's, you know, it's showing. And uh, it couldn't have came at a better time.